up with Angela Yee. I'm here. B Dot is here. My name is B Dot. Yo. And we got to start off the Yee today with a rest in peace to DJ Clark Kent. Yes. Um, who has impacted so many people's lives. He's helped so many people out selflessly. Mm-hmm. You know how many people I know once he passed were telling me, uh, you know, I had this business and. He actually uh, went and purchased stuff from my business mm. without even. I offered to send him some stuff. He said, "No, don't worry, I'm about to buy it. Yep. I want to support you." And so many people talk about how he was kind of the stepping stone for them to get on. Even Jay Z, absolutely, um, has discussed that previously. And he actually did what three songs on Reasonable Doubt yep. on Jay Z's uh, debut album. Mm-hmm. Um, in addition to that. Um, by the way, he did die from from colon cancer yes. at the age of 58. So that's a wake up call for everybody listening because it does impact the black community at a higher rate mm-hmm. than any other community as well. And he's worked with everybody from Queen Latifah to Dougie Fresh, the Fugees, Rakim, to me. Ice Cube, Mariah Carey, you. Yes, we. Um, I had him on my show on Complex Brackets about two years ago. Mm-hmm. And um, you know, whenever you called Clark to ask him to help you with something, he was always there. You know, it's just an insurmountable loss. You know, I hate the fact that we're losing so many hip hop pillars in their late fifties. You know, from Fat Man Scoop, Mr. C. Now this is, it's devastating. Yeah, and he was also well known for being a sneakerhead. Literally yes. had tens of thousands of sneakers, but fact. he also would give them away <laughs> a lot in the community. And he mm-hmm. would do these scavenger hunts for yep. kids to find the sneakers. So that's amazing. I was always mad that I couldn't find them. Oh, I was late. <laughs> you were one of those kids. <laughs> yes. All right, so rest in peace and our condolences to his family. His wife is amazing. His kids, I know they were by his side mm-hmm. um, when he passed away. I, was, I also saw that Foxy Brown posted a tribute because that's her cousin, Yeah. by the way. And she posted, my cousin would tell the whole Brooklyn, my little cousin Ng is the best chick to ever do it. He kept me on my bully. I remember the day you pulled up to mommy's crib with Jay-Z and the white GS and said, spit for him, Ng. And she said the beginning of Bonnie and Clyde. So she did say, uh, last thing you told me was, Cuzzo, the new album must be named Inga. Promise on Baby C, I will honor your last words to me and leave the last song open for you. Mm. And then she also revealed a screenshot of that very text. All right. Um, so rest in peace one more time. Yes. And also, I want to talk about James Franco. He said his longtime friendship with Seth Rogen is over after the controversy that he had in 2021. Uh, he settled a 2019 sexual misconduct lawsuit. And he had spoken about this previously and his inappropriate behavior. And here's what he had to say on the podcast that um, he was on where he discussed this for the first time, uh, what happened at the school that he had. Here's, here's James Franco discussing that. I didn't sleep with anybody in that particular class, but it, over the course of my teaching, I did sleep with students, and that was wrong. It wasn't a master plan on my my part, but yes, there were certain instances where I was in a consensual thing with, with a student, and I shouldn't have been. Ugh, oh, true Hollywood divorce. I kind of understand where he's coming from, though. Like, if it what? Was, if it was consensual, you know, his thinking is like, it's okay, we're all adults, so nothing is wrong. Well, but- when you're a teacher, and he even said he had no business even having that school. He was teaching acting to these students, and it was a group of women that came together that were like, you know, it was inappropriate. He was sleeping with the students. He had a class called Sex Scenes, Whoa. and he said in retrospect he shouldn't have named it that, and they felt awkward because they were actually, he was having them film things what? on camera, too. That's a West Coast production. You can't be having Franco off such an acting school. Right, but he said his friendship with Seth Rogen is over. He said we had 20 great years together. He said, I haven't talked to Seth. I love Seth, but I guess it's over. And not for lack of trying. I've told him how much he's meant to me. Wow. And on Seth Rogen's behalf, he had said that he despises uh, people who abuse their power and mm. and things like that. All right, well, that is your Yee Tea. When we come back, we have About Last Night. You know, Powerhouse was over the weekend. Yes. So we'll talk about what we did over the weekend. It's way up. 